All right, hello. Um, we're going to try our first attempt at recording Star Star Sector with commentary. Um, I have absolutely no idea how this is going to go down. I don't even know the entire the sound balance is going to go down, but we're going to see what happens. Um, for a little bit of backstory here, I'm not going to go and explain all of Star Sector's mechanics. Um, instead, I'm going to mostly jump into the thick of the things and explain as I'm going along. Also, I can't hear the game, so I'll probably mess up and die at some point because I can't hear, like, torpedoes coming in. And that would be important, but I can't, so it sucks. Um, so, let's jump into it. Um, I'm about to actually get attacked by the hegemony because I kind of pissed them off a while back. And I haven't actually updated my fleet relatively recently. Oh yeah, also things are going to be a little bit slower because we're not actually able to record perfectly, but oh well, fine. Um, I'm trying to go catch down a Star Sector Plus bounty because those always have weird ships. I don't even know what's in it this time. Um, perhaps some kind of battle cruiser or something. They always have their customized boss ship for that. But between here and there, um, specifically, uh, no, the gold. Um, or no, I'm, I'm just going for. I'm just trying to go grab some money and and get some positive reputation with the Sky faction because they're awesome. Which means hunting down that bounty pirate fleet over there which requires dealing with the two hegemony fleets on the way. So we're gonna see if we can chain battle our way through all three of them, and it's probably going to be heinously expensive, but who cares, it's fun. Um, although let's actually see if we can uh, sneak our way past these guys before they track us down and try to, oh, okay. Um, that was kind of uneventful, are they coming back? No, guess not, okay, fine, how nice of them. Um, you know what, you're doing custom inspections. I don't, I don't entirely appreciate the fact that... Or you could run away, cowards. But no, I, I'm not a particular fan of the hegemony here, mostly because, um, well, from a metagaming point of view, there's a lot of them, and so on. The primary thing, though, is that trading with the hegemony is really difficult if you're going to try to be friends with Blackrock, because Blackrock also hates the hegemony and the Tritachion, and just everyone else. So, um, in order to be better become friends with Blackrock, gotta attack someone. You gotta pick sides at some point in the conflict, and the game's gonna be better at fo forcing that in the future. Um, so, if I wanted to pursue this entire fleet, um, I don't actually have a lot of fast ships, per se. I've got my own uh, Desdenova, which is ridiculously overpowered. Um, and then I've got this... Oh, th this little silverfish is actually one of the best ships I have in the fleet, not because it's particularly murder-tastic or anything like that, but because it's this dinky little freighter, which in, in, in packs is great at just killing their surprisingly competent freighters. They're just a little bit good at everything, and they're fascinating. Anyway, um... You know what? Okay, I don't want to dedicate the resources to actually fighting them all day. I, was, I could probably chase them down, but instead we're going to take down this pirate fleet over there, and we're going to... Oh, that? I don't want to fight that over. Um... Yes, 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 I'm sorry. I traded with your enemies. I'm sorry, I don't like that, Tritachion, but that's something you have to deal with. That's actually quite a decent number of enemy ships. A lot of them are frigates, though, and the Dead Zenova eats frigates for breakfast. Two of them are... Flak? ships that's not flak that's um those are the weirdest things i've ever seen okay so they've kind of got a carrier fleet with exactly one carrier uh yeah that doesn't have any that doesn't have any it doesn't have any flight decks there's no flight decks in here and they've got four fighter wings and a bunch of frigates some of which are garbage some of which are not and these two destroyers over there are really actually pretty, going to be pretty nasty uh, that less so. Um, okay, so we need to eat frigates for breakfast. Lunch and dinner and everything else. Oh, you've got a lot of technology. I don't care. I'll just eat your ships. Um, so for this, I'd say we're going to be heavily outnumbered. The Karkinos is my battleship and is completely amazing and works surprisingly well when outnumbered, so that's great. The Zenova is going to be me um, because I can uh, devour frigates individually. The Scorpion is just happens to be good at everything. Um, it's an amazingly durable destroyer, so let's go with that. Um, yes, it's the Onion. Um, 
I kind of don't want to risk my Templar ships because they're amazing and I've only captured three of them and I can't entirely replace them. So instead, let's... Uh, these, these things aren't actually very good at facing off frigates. So let's go for quantity. Um, I think I can do that. And so long as you don't get completely surrounded, and so long as we trash a large number of frigates quickly, or specifically I do, and the, and the Karkinus does, um, I think that we can put up with being surrounded for long, uh, for pretty well. Um, the Scorpion is going to be... The Scorpion's bad at getting surrounded. Uh, well, the Scorpion's better. The, the, the Lamina is less so. Um... Thank you. Oh, right. Let's actually get another capture some things. Um, then I'm going to go get that far one all the way on the side. So, um, the state of affairs in Star Sector generally is that my goal right now, I've got a, basically a maximum level of fleet. Um, my goal is to go punch Templars, and that's going to be heinously difficult. Um, I just did a test a moment ago in the simulator. Um, the, so, for those of you who don't know, the Templars are a mod, uh, mod created um, boss faction for the for a Star Sector universe. Um, basically, they're supposed to be a credible damage to um, the end game fleet because I'm kind of a I'm, I'm not a good player, but I've got all of these stats which make all, uh, which make my character better than the standard ships and. Um, the Templars are there to make you question your existence and how good you think you are, because they will wreck your face regardless. Um, yeah, let's just keep an eye on what's going on here. It looks like frigates are going in the middle. I'm not entirely sure I want to capture the Navbury because I don't think I can hold it. I'm going to be outnumbered all day, so it's not, and hope my ships very keep it together. As a matter of fact, we can go tell our Scorpion here to go um, stick with the lamina. Actually, let's put the lamina to stick with the scorpion. Probably work out better. Um, just so that they don't split up and get surrounded and murdered by torpedoes. Um, Templars. The biggest uh, Templar ship is is a rather mundane looking carrier that doesn't have a lot of heavy weapons or anything like that. Um, it's their capital ship. It's not the most impressive capital ship, and it will go, um, oh my god, it is a terrifying thing. Um, go. Oh, I forgot, I didn't I mess with my weapon groups, um, oh, that's right, okay. Oops, place the computer, oh well, bye. Um... Templar capital ship is not particularly large, it's not particularly deadly, the, the deadly part is the bazillion fighters that comes with it, and the fact that the carrier itself is nigh unkillable. Um, it has an enormous flux capacity, and a large flux capacity means that it can do bigger explosions of dastardly evil um, energy bursts. Therefore it murders your face, and it sucks. Um, it's just um, it's a, oh my goodness, it's a, oh man, yeah, okay, I mess completely mess up my weapon groups. Go away, face frigates, I don't like you. Um Face frigates. Okay, yeah, I completely messed up my weapon groups. What happened is um I found a bug with the with my version of the sky mod. And in order to fix that, uh, that, that, that is one of those things. A lot of frigates. What the hell are you doing all the way over in there? Okay, I mean, let's, let's take a look at what's going on here. Okay, I'm really glad I mounted those you know, rear-facing um, shard cannons so that they can take down frigates in the back, but my god... Got a lot of enemy ships here. I'm wondering if I should call in some reinforcements. Um, the cruisers aren't going to be particularly good at facing off large amounts of ships, and I but I could send in my frigate group. The martyrs will help 
chew up the frigates. And you know what? Let's let's send in our frigate group. They're cheap, and they're going to be uh, good at. There's, ooh, right. Oops. Um, they'll be good at to help hold ground. The problem with facing so many ships is that since there are so many, um, you get surrounded and they buy time for each other. Hello, I said torpedo it, please. Um, and right, all of these drones. Ow. Right, game is slow because um, my computer is just not very good at handling all of this. So we're actually gonna see if it actually comes out with good audio. Oh well. Side steps are missing. The hard part here is going to be with getting any shit. What? Why in, or why in anyone's right mind would you teleport into the middle of the fridge? Can you go away, please? Um. We just need to wear down some of these enemy ships, or else we're going to get completely chewed off here. And we're already kind of getting chewed up. Where's the problem? Where's a... I need to... I can just taking too many hits, but I need to force it... Uh, force the enemy fleet to break up. Here's my superior mobility. It does an overpunch is better than a cruiser. It's an outrageous ship. Take some hits on my sides without much of a problem. I'm a little more worried about that encroaching group of missiles back there, but. Take some hits. Not that many hits. Okay, I think I underestimated the pirate fleet over here because we know that they've got quite a side step. Side step. This thing, I, I really want to get this one destroyer out of the way because it's gonna run. Because it's making it very difficult. Okay, it's not like this is particularly dangerous to destroy, it's just been shooting down on the so. Um Ideally, I'll hit it with the torpedo, something, get it out of the way, and we can help reduce it off through the right ships. Right now. Down you go. How in the 17 hells did you get all the way over there? I'd really rather not lose my battleship in this fight. Um, I went through a lot of work to get it, and it's an awesome ship. I could consider transferring command over to the Karkinos right now, but the problem is that the AI is very bad at the Desanova. I just it says me as I take a missile to the side. Um, Whereas it's a lot better with the Garkinos, it's not great, but it is better. Why is the Silverfish in the middle here? Ugh, okay. We need to, we, we need to uh, get better at eliminating some ships here. Oh, God damn, those frigates are almost done. Phase frigates are like, the phase ships are like submarines. They suck. You can't get rid of them. Mm. 
I can take some more damage. Oh, that's fine. This medium. Again, wear down the enemy fleet, cause permanent casualties. Fuck. Okay. Ah, oh, man. That's, that's like my favorite ship. And if I had only sent in a. Crap. Okay, what? I mean, I've got another capital ship back at home. Um, it's not outfitted, and it's not good at taking down everything. I mean, the the, the Karkinos was my best ship for dealing with the um, Templars. So I, that was a major blow. Well, I killed the wrong ship by accident. Okay. Well. Um, let's send Ken in the goddamn pump waters. Ooh. This is what I get for under-deploying, uh, under honestly. Because he's significantly better off right now if I had not simply, um... If I simply deployed everything at the beginning. Which I didn't. And then I should have. Now I've lost capital ship because of the suck. I have no idea what this thing is doing. Why are you spinning around in here? Okay, um, it's lost two of its three armor plates, and I have... Does anyone know what those green missiles are? I don't know. Um, oh. Some Black Rock shenanigans. Black Rock has weird... it has some weird type of missiles. What are you trading hits with? Sky has their modular armor plates on their sh uh, on a number of their ships, and okay. Well, not that one anymore. Silverfish is almost down. The cruiser's not here yet? Sheesh. Explains why things aren't going particularly well. But we've actually gone through most of the fleet enemy fleets here. It's good news. This guy is about to overload, which is double the good news. Um, I can try and keep... Oh, okay, I don't... I don't understand why it didn't put up a shield if you're in there. There's blocks and everything. Okay. So we've secured the right flank, finally. Um, yeah, this is an example of uh, one of the other sky ships. All, all the sky ships are kind of strange in that they're very elongated. They kind of look like modern naval ships. Um, with fewer weapon mounts, but higher than average speeds, and a couple of them have this armored version, which has all of these expendable armor plates on the sides, and it's really awesome because um, just just in a conceptual note, I mean, you can blow off parts of the ship, which is not a standard feature that Star Sector has, um, but also uh, the extra armor plates soak damage, and they can eat torpedoes for other people. Um, and my lamina over there is killing the deal. Um, are you overloaded yet? Uh, 
the the armor plates also have guns built into them and the guns fire automatically when The guns fire automatically even when the main ship is venting, they will cover your ship, and that is, frankly, quite awesome. Smart AI is covering for itself there. Um, we've actually won the fight now, we've just taken a big beating in order to do so. I mean, I lost a capital ship, I don't care much as much for the... Um, Okay, I was too close to an exploding ship and then put it down. Uh -huh, you can't hit me, I'm too evasive. This is basically a guaranteed win right there. Because I've got. A, well, okay, I can eat quite a bit of damage to my hull and. I don't know why it's not putting up shields though. Oof! Okay, well, I almost took that. Blue pill. Yeah, blue pill. Those MIRVs, um, the Hurricane MIRV, Merv, I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it. It's a tech score. Um, oh, hello, Karkinos. Um, I don't know why you decided to teleport into the fleet as opposed to out of the fleet, but you did, and now you're dead. And you were expensive, but you were beloved. They might. Ha! Oh, that's hilarious. Um, the MIRV does an surprising amount of damage given. Hey, look, it's a floating armor plate. Um, the MIRV does an surprising amount of damage for what looks like a bunch of small projectiles once it splits apart. Each one does like a good 400 or something damage. Is the enemy fleet not like given up yet? Really? Why? I'm waiting for I mean, this is the last. Okay, well, there's a carrier. Ow. A single carrier. A single carrier is not going to be uh, any threat to us. Well, okay, I guess a fire fighter's bot is significant. Um, what? What? How? Okay, I guess it's coming into the face. Um. Crap. Okay, so I engage a pirate fleet the wrong way and lost a capital ship. Um, a destroyer. I think a frigate. I think I lost a frigate in there somewhere. Um. I lost a martyr, which is, by the way, when they when they die, Templar, Templar ships when they die they explode, most of the time. When they don't, you can capture them. Um, but the martyr class, the the smallest their smallest frigate, has a, a bonus thing that when it dies, it also flies forward and then explodes, which just killed off the cruiser as you saw a moment ago. Except um, it also. Okay, well, there's no way we can go capture that guy, so we're gonna just claim victory right now. Um, so yeah, I lost a Karkonos, I lost a Martyr, and it was completely destroyed, so there's no chance of capturing it back. And I lost the Onion. I lost 400 men. That kind of sucks. I mean, it's actually kind of weird in this game because the lines are relatively, you know, disposable. But you know what? Because because the enemies were such jerks, we're going to go and pursue them down and slaughter them to the last man. That came out a little harsh. Um, we're going to do it anyway because you. You kill you kill my battleship. It's not my battleship. Um, I feel like that's a reference to something. I don't know what that would be. Oh well. There will be revenge of the uh, hello fighters, bye fighters, and faster than fighters. Go away. 
I need to we we need to take out um, the carrier first. Which is right in front of me, I believe. I'm not entirely optimistic about the swarm of missiles I'm presumably gonna take at the back side here. Oh right, we're gonna get this. Torpedo to the face. Bye. The sky laser torpedoes are kind of considered to be overpowered right now. Um, I mean, one of them just killed the ship from full health. Granted, I do have a bunch of bonus perks and everything, but still, it's a little bit outrageous. Okay, so now we can go hunt fighters. Let me grab these guys. Hello. There's some, also some sky fighters. What are you doing here? Pirates. It was a really fun time when we could a fighter. <clears throat> anyway, um. Ow. Okay. I'm kind of bummed out from losing that battleship. I'm sorry. I mean, they weren't even the Templars. If, if they were the Templars, I would be respecting it a little bit more because the Templars are. But it wasn't even the Templars, it was just, it was a single, it was a larger than average pirate fleet that I should have sent my cruisers in for, and I paid the price for it, and it was a big expensive one. I do have a second capital ship sitting around, um, a, um, Nemean Lion from Sky instead. If the Carcanos teleports, it has a good, sh it has good weapon coverage in all directions, it's a black rock ship so that it can, uh, vent in all directions too, it vents really fast too. Um, it's a lot easier to justify running Blackrock weapons with it, um, which are awesome. Great explanation of why the, uh, like, it's a bit of a power. Um, and, oh, yes, they fixed it, ha! Huh! Oh, that's great. Okay. Um, that made things a lot better, except we probably lost all the guns. Meh. And I mean, I lost a destroyer. Meh. Um, losing the martyr is unfortunate, but I've got another one. Uh, I probably need to swap out the weapons on the other one, because I think the one that survived is the one with the antimatter blasters, and it's not always good. Um, okay, so right now we've got a couple of boarding opportunities. I don't need a wolf, especially not a dilapidated wolf. Eh, Hammerhead's not that good. Um, Brawler is... Okay. I'd really rather get some Sky Frigates because they're a lot faster. And I don't need carriers. I want to get a carrier fleet again, but what, earlier I would rent and bought all of the carriers available and they ran out. So I'm going to go give that another check, though. Um, I'm going to need all the supplies in order to repair. Get the valuables. Guns are always valuable. Fuel valuable. I think we can just do everything. Yep. Okay. So that giant fleet is now a fireman. Um, oh, hey, and we, it looks like we've got another. Um, we've got a Blackrock bounty to go for. Let's uh, take a look at that one. I think I need to go do some repairs first. And in order to do repairs. I would ideally get to a friendly base, and faster is better than slower, so I would like to get through the jump point. Um, ideally without getting murder faced. Yeah, we lost all the weapons. Ah, uh, that's gonna be hard. Ooh, so oh crap, I lost a bunch of Templar weapons! That sucks too. Um, they were great. Let me go, let me go there, let me go there, that's what I want. Let's take all the weapons off. Um, I think I kept a couple of the small weapons, but oh well. Dumb Templars, guys. I was trying to, be, I was beginning working on optimizing my fleet towards uh, facing off the Templars, and one of the things I'm going to need to do eventually is get a cruiser-sized vessel that can serve as anti-fighter. Because seriously, man, the 
Those Simplar fighters are terrifying. And, um... I think I could fight that. I don't really want to. Can you go away, please? They're also faster than me. Hello, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, you don't want to fight me. Great, thank you. Excellent. Of course, I'm going to eat my words in about five seconds. And now I'm going to eat my words in a different way and uh, go away, please. Okay, I guess they're going back. I, I mean, they could have taken on the fate and the try, I think. Um, and it would have been a pretty even fight because I don't have Battleship. I guess they're going back because they're out of supplies or something. So it's good to know that the game's at least slightly consistent in that regard. Um, right now, what do we have for sale? Mine's kind of terrible. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to drop out in a moment and just start trying to go with the ship again. Um, actually, let's see. Oh, trade disruption! Supplies are at high prices. Two in the wrong place. Great. Do you have guns? Do you have good guns? No, because your because your tr trade's been disrupted. Shit. Okay. Um, we're going somewhere else. Bye. Anyway, I will be back after a bunch of refitting and show off a more interesting battle later. Farewell. Eventually, after some 